So my favorite part of the omelets is you can make it what you want. You can pick items right from the cold bar here, and then once you get to the hot bar, you can add a protein to it and make it exactly the way you want it. And you can mix it up and change it up every day. So we have our veggie options. We have green peppers, tomatoes, mushrooms, and spinach. And then our meat options, um, we have ham, uh, turkey, sausage. Well, the first thing that we do when we get to the omelet station, you know, obviously you want to wash your hands as you're first coming in because we got to, like, watch that, the sanitary environment. Um, and then we always get the pans out, put oil on them, make sure it's ready to go, make sure the oil's hot. So then when you put the vegetables on it, it'll cook right away. So then there's no problems and the omelet won't burn. And then we make sure everything's topped off before customers come to take it out. You know, you don't want customers to come out and then be like, you know, where's my spinach? and it's empty, so we make sure everything's nice and topped off and looks nice for the customer. So that's pretty much how everything starts. What we do, what I always tell my students when I show a student how to make an omelet, our biggest concern is we will like lift it with a spatula and tilt the pan, so then that way the uncooked egg on top can fall down to the bottom and make sure it's cooked all the way through. No one wants any uncooked egg in an omelet understandably so. So we make sure that it's cooked through by lifting the pan and folding it underneath. And then it's that way it's easier to flip too. Well for me, the best omelet I would make, I would probably put turkey and spinach in it. That's just my personal preference. But we get a lot of omelets here where students want ham and cheese. That's a big hit, so I know that's good too. Support for WGVU Digital Studios Order Up, provided by Spartan Nash. Spartan Nash, taking food places. More at SpartanNash.com.